According to the exit polls, Emmanuel Macron was the winner of yesterday's presidential election, defeating his opponent Marine Le Pen by winning over 58% of the votes. The leader of the National Unity Party won just over 41% of the vote. This is slightly less than during the second round of elections in 2017. At that time, Emmanuel Macron achieved support with 66% of the vote, Marine Le Pen almost 34%. After the announcement of the victory, President Macron said that the recent crises were only a prelude to the historic challenges facing his next presidency. Après After five years of transformation, happy and difficult moments, unique crises, today most citizens made a choice and trusted me. I know that many of our fellow citizens voted for me to prevent the far right from taking power. I would like to thank them and say that this voice is listening. Macron also addressed the voters who voted for his opponent, Marine Le Pen. From now on, I am no longer a candidate for one camp, but the president of all. I understand many of our countrymen who have chosen the extreme right today. I understand their anger and opposition. I have to find an answer for them too. Marine Le Pen, who was the closest to winning during this year's election, could not hide her disappointment at losing. However, she announced that she did not intend to give up her political career. I will continue my commitment to building a better France and I will work for the French with the energy, perseverance and affection that you know me for. Tonight I will say it again, I will never leave the French people. Long live the Republic, long live France. As the spokesman for the French government, Gabriel Attal, noted, the victory of Emmanuel Macron is the best choice for France, which means peace and stability for the whole country. The president was re-elected by a majority of votes. This is unprecedented in the history of the Fifth Republic. This result has historical responsibility. Congratulatory messages from all over the world were sent to the Elysee Palace. Using Twitter, messages came from, among others, Volodymyr Zelensky, Ursula von der Leyen and Mateusz Morawiecki. Congratulations to President Emmanuel Macron, a true friend of Ukraine, for his re-election. I wish him further success, which will translate into the good of people. Dear President Emmanuel Macron, congratulations on your re-election as President of the French Republic. I look forward to continuing our excellent cooperation. Each election is a celebration of democracy. Even after the hottest campaign comes a time of tedious work. Poland and France have many common challenges and common interests. The presidential election divided France. The slight difference in votes indicates a polarised society and the French themselves do not hide their emotions after the announcement of the result. I am very pleased with the result as President Macron has already led us through some difficult moments. He showed courage and here is the result. I voted for Marine Le Pen, so I'm a bit disappointed with the result, even though I was expecting it. I think Marine Le Pen is the kind of person who could embody some French resurgence in the long run. In many places in the country, including Paris and Lyon, many protests against Macron began shortly after the announcement of the voting results. Demonstrators threw fireworks at police cars and the police used tear gas. Re-election does not mean a bright future for everyone in France. Macron. I think Macron is undoubtedly an intelligent and capable politician, but nevertheless a politician who wants to manage the status quo, who comes from the same establishment that has ruled France and almost all of Europe for many years. It seems to me that he may have a problem with solving the basic problems in France. He will try to manage what is, so I have doubts whether this is the best way, but well, the French decided how they decided. Winning the presidential election is undoubtedly a success for Macron but he needs one more battle to be fully victorious. The so-called third round, that is the parliamentary elections, will be held on the 12th of June. Then the voters will decide what the scope of the president's power will be. Full, that is, in the rule of his own camp, the need to build a coalition or a prime minister from another party, which means five years of friction and a tug of war.